Forward TV. The world is thinking. Anybody following this closely will know that there have been stories in the New York Times and the Washington Post over the last couple of weeks saying that Obama is on the verge of signing something that's going to allow for indefinite detention of terror suspects down in Guantanamo without, without trial without charges or trial. And and yet, I have to say, when I first started covering this after Obama took office, I spoke to the White House counsel, Greg Craig, who said he just couldn't imagine that Obama would ever sign such a thing. So so what's going on? Um, it's I think there's a fight going on, and I don't think they know exactly what they're going to do yet. Um, but from what I can tell, the process is, first, they're trying to sort out who they've got down in Guantanamo. There are people down there who, who, for a long time, they didn't even know during the Bush years anything about some of these prisoners. They didn't even have names on some of the files. They just had numbers on some of the files because they picked up people so randomly. Um, but, but at any rate, first, they're going to sort the people. They're trying to, to distribute anybody who is innocent, as they did with the Uyghurs recently. Um, they are then going to try to charge anybody they can charge, um, either in the federal court system in the U.S. or in some military system that they're still devising. And if there are people who they feel they can't do any of these things with, that's where they're going to face this issue of, of whether or not they're going to find a way to hold them. And it sounds to me like they are going to find some, you know, or argue that they have this authority. But they're going to argue it quite differently from what Bush did. Bush argued that because he was president, he had this authority inherently to designate people as enemy combatants and hold them indefinitely till the end of the conflict. What Obama is saying is Congress passed the authorization to use military force, and in that bill, in that legislation, Congress said there's a certain category of people that we're at war with. They are the people who devised the 9-11 attacks or supported them substantially and are part of those organizations, either Al-Qaeda or the Taliban, which harbored them. And anybody in that category, under the laws of war, they're going to argue you could, you could conceivably hold until the end of this conflict. Um, I think if they do it, they're going to get a great pushback from the human rights world. But they are arguing it under the laws of war and under con congressional authority. And so they're not just sort of saying we have monarchical powers to do these things. I'm sure they are hoping that there is nobody that falls into that category. But again, the problem is it's the problem of, of the, the mistakes that were made before. I mean, it's, it's not moving forward and saying they're going to capture terrorist suspects and do this to them. They're saying, we've got people whose rights are violated who we're afraid to let out, and we don't know how we're going to try them. And um, because all the evidence is tainted against them, all the evidence comes from tortured confessions, um, that's what they're potentially looking at. Mm -hmm. So... I, you know, I don't know how many people fit into that category. I'm, you know, I'm hoping for everybody's sake, nobody, but um, that's what they're looking at. Yeah.